Um, good morning. And then, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to the organizing committee for giving me this opportunity. So this talk is about the anti presentation in accuracy with the So this is a graphic summary of today's talk, and then please let me show first to you. Um, as you know, the naive T cell is uh, the media HCBC. They are migrate, uh, they are going to the leaf node or target organ directory, and then they are presented antigen by the recipient, mostly recipient APCs. And then it's included hematopoietic APC or also the non hematopoietic APC, which are not really appreciated so far. But uh, today's half of my talk is uh, about the rule of the host non hematopoietic APC in GBC induction. Then the T cell is uh, presented around in uh, proliferate and then differentiate to the TH1 or TH17 and then start the uh, damage of the organs. So in parallel, uh, the donor APC is deconstructed the hematopoietic APC. So once started the tissue damage in especially colon, the donor DC is stimulated to proliferate and then activate via the damage or pathogen-associated molecular pattern, which is the uh, innate signals uh, getting to the damaged tissue. And then those donor DC uh, migrate into the mesentic lymph node. And in this process, the uh, subset of the donor DC is really important. And then they are um, present antigen to T cell again here. And then T cell is proliferated and then um, activate it and implant the integrating alpha 4 beta 7 and then it, which is the ligand of the Madocam 1 expressed on the inflamed mucosal tissue. So they back to the um, intestine and then makes the severe GBSD. So this is the GBSD enhancement process and then my second half talk is about the rule of donor APC in this uh, enhancement. So donor T cell are pr uh, presented the host derived antigen, alloantin, and then activated by the peptide MHC complex. However, the MHC class um, and the class two are differently expressed in the recipient. As you know, the MHC class one is expressed most of the nuclear cells. However, the MHC class is quite limited, like uh, hematopoietic professional APCs. So thus, experimental models have been developed so far as the MHC class were dependent, means the MHCD8 T cell mediated ZBC, or MHC class dependent CD4, uh, CD4 T cell mediated ZBC. So the question is which cell type, donor or host, or hematopoietic versus non-hematopoietic cells present our antigen to the donor T cell to induce or enhance CBC. So in concept, there is three types of the APCs. So after the conditioning regimen, recipient hematopoietic APCs start reduce. And then, of course, after the transplant, they are more reduced and then uh, exchange are uh, replaced with the donor hematopoietic APCs. However, there is uh, no hematopoietic APC exists, and then they are always hemat uh, recipient type. So, for the CD8 mediated CBHD, the host hematopoietic APC are necessary and sufficient for the GBC induction. And then donor APC are required for the maximal GBC. For CD4 mediated GBC, MHC class to express on the hemat host hematopoietic APC is sufficient to elicit CD4 mediated GBC. And regarding hem host hematopoietic APC, the recipient DC are sufficient to induce CD4 or CD8 mediated GBC. 
So likely the hem uh, recipient hematopoietic APC is really important. However, therefore, the CD4 mediated CBSD is not really proven that the, this cell type is really necessary. This, uh, in other words, the host hematopoietic APC are when, sorry, when host hematopoietic APC are unable to present arantin, is CBSD reduced? So this is a really important question uh, for the perspective of the uh, therapeutic point of view. What are the important APC driving the MHC cluster dependency BC? To ask this question, we use the Black Six into Black Six by DBHVF model with the TCL transgenic CD4 T cells. This transgenic tra transgenic T cell recognize the antigen from the DBH recipient. On the host or recipient, black six type of image cluster. So when the um, donor is a wild type black six mouse, they can present with the appropriate image cluster to the, this transgenic T cells. Uh, and also wild type black six by DBH mice also can present However, when the donor have a major cluster deficiency, they cannot present. And also, the, when the recipient is a black six image cluster deficient by DBA2A from us, they have antigen derived from DBA2. However, they can't present because there is no appropriate image cluster. So with this um, as a different combination, we can compare to the host and the donor arantin presentation or the host arantin presentation only, donor arantin presentation only, or nothing arantin presentation to these transgenic T cells. This showing the T cell expansion as a bioluminescent signal. And as you can see, the, the T cell expansion is quite, quite equivalent between the host and the donor antigen presenting group versus and then host aroantin presentation only group. However, the, with the donor aroantin group, aroantin presentation only, they can't expand well. And this, however, is a quite similar direction. The host and the donor aroantin presentation group and the host aroantin presentation only group have a severe SDVHD. However, the donor arantin presentation only could not induce the lethal ZVHD. When the T cell door is really escalated, the donor APC antigen presentation can induce a partial lethal ZVHD, but much less extend. So the arantin presentation by host APC is really required. Then we want to know which cell type of the host APC is important. Putatively, the host DC is important. So that's why we compare to the donor DC depletion, sorry, host DC depletion versus no DC depletion using the CDMC driven Zifter toxin receptor expressing recipient with the Zifter toxin induction uh, administration. Surprisingly, the Post DC depletion increased the effective T cell expansion compared to the non depletion. And this, however, is no difference, finally, no, uh, no difference. So, this means the depletion of host DC does not prevent a response to the allantin. So, other cell types must drive the donor T cell activation. So, this raising the question if the host hematopoietic APC are really required for the ZBC induction. Uh, then we asked the question uh, compared to the hematopoietic antigen presentation versus no hematopoietic antigen presentation. Here is the forearms, but uh, all mouse doesn't have the antigen presentation by donor. And the difference between forearms is a host hematopoietic or no hematopoietic antigen presentation. When the host no hematopoietic and the hematopoietic antigen presentation are intact, the survival, uh, the survival is like that. And they also no hematopoietic APC only also have a severe GVC. 
Surprisingly, the host hematopoietic APC only can induce the much less CVC. And then again, here is a TC expansion, and then host and host hematopoiet and the non hematopoietic APC group have a good expansion of T cells, and then non hematopoietic APC group is similar. However, the hematopoietic APC only group has much less expansion of the T cells. <coughs> So host non-hematopoietic APC are sufficient to induce lethal GVHD. After indeed, the MHC cluster is expressed on the non-hematopoietic cells. This is a small intestine of villi, and then showing um, the MHC cluster as a green, and the CD45 hematopoietic marker as a red. Hematopoietic MHC cluster expressing cells is shown as a red, yellowish color like that. But here is clearly the green single positive cells means a non-hematopoietic MHA class expressing APCs. So in conclusion, the first part is um, host non-hematopoietic APC is crucial to induce the CD4 T cell mediated GVHD. So now moving on to the second part, after the GVHD is already induced. What we know about the donor APC, so, so donor APC are not required and are inefficient for the GVHC induction as shown in the previous slides, but they are the required for the maximal disease. In the donor conventional DC are the most potent APC capable of the presenting our antigens. So we know the donor APC exacerbates CVC, but we don't know the further mechanism, who, how, and where. So to ask this question, we developed a model to the assess the arranging presentation by donor APC exclusively. So this irradiated vaccines were transplanted bone marrow and T cell as a CVC group or the T cell depleted bone marrow as a non GVHC group from the allergenic black six mouse. And then on day 12, when the APC is fully reconstituted by the donor APC, the reporter T cell, which has the Lucifer signal, um, um, injected, and then a couple of days later, we can look at that which organ have uh, this T cell expansion. This can uh, this allow us to compare the anti presentation by donor is how different between the GVC versus non GVC <coughs> circumstance. And in fact, we know uh, found is in GVC mouse, especially uh, they have a mesentic lymph node, uh, have a T cell starting a T cell expansion, and then a few days later, this T cell expansion is expand the whole the intestine and also other systemic organs. It means the donor arantin presentation during the GVC is initiated in the mesentic lymph node. Then uh, we look at uh, which cell types is important in the donor APC and the donor DC is preferentially presented arantin in the mesentic lymph node, where the donor macrophage are dispensable for the arantin presentation damage-associated or pathogen-associated molecular pattern uh, damp or pump signalings uh, enhance around the presentation in the mesentic lymph node during the GVHD. So next question is how do the DC and the innate signals link to each other in the mesentic lymph node? So we look at the donor DC in the mesentic lymph node. The DC gated as a major class CD ABC double positive operation, and then we can uh, separate three subsets. Here is a CD103 single positive or CD11B single positive or double positive operation. What we found is a CD, CD103 positive 11B negative operation showing as red here have the most highest capacity to present our antigen. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes. Highest capacity of arantin presentation, and also the highest capacity of IL-12 production. 
Also, they have a high CCL7 expression means that this, uh, this, uh, this molecule is required for the migration from uh, intestine to the lymph node. So then we look at and uh, compare to the wild type bomber, the recipient of wild type bomber versus recipient of the myelinated trif, double knockout bomber or raised knockout bomber. These molecules are uh, down pump signaling transducers, and the myelinated trif are uh, the single tra a signal transducer for the toll-like receptor or um, in chromosomes, and the LEG is a receptor for the nuclear protein HMGB1 or heat shock protein or nuclear acid. So this um, molecule deficient mass have much uh, less percent, um, absolute number of CD1 3 positive 11 B negative fraction. And then this result in the reduction of antigen presenting cell in, and then reduction of cytokine producing cells, DC in the mesentic lymph node. So the mesentic lymph node CD1 3 positive 11 B negative DC present allo antigen and the secret R12 under the influence of innate signals. So next question is where the how does the down pump signaling influence the CD1 3 possibly there will be negative population. Because the mesentic lymph node is a draining lymph node of intestine. And then we look at the donor DC distribution after transplant. Um, this signal is come from cd one driven donor receivers. So, uh, so that's why, not same to the previous slide, this showing the donor DC expansion. And then we compare the ZVHD versus non ZVHD. As you can see, the up to day 12, not much different, but after that, the ZVHD mouse have uh, accumulate of uh, uh, accumulate the mesentic lymph node DC and also in colon. It's not happening in non ZVHD mouse. So that's why we look at the donor DC in the colon. And uh, as you can see, the donor DC. Uh, uh, donor DC in colon, in particular the CD1 3 positive CD1 negative fraction have uh, again anti presentation and the IL12 product producing population here. It's not exist in the non ZBZ mouse. So ZBZ induced and in uh, in increase and in activate donor DC in the colon. So final question is um, do CD1 was positive, it even be negative DC present around in the colon or mesentic lymph node following the their migration because this population is exists in colon and mesentic lymph node. Thus, we compare to the, the recipient of wild type bomber versus CCR7 deficient bomber. As you can see, the absence of CCR7 donor DC are normal in the colon, but fail to the mig migrate to the mesentic lymph node here, missing population. And then this result in the T cell expansion in the mesentic lymph node, and then intestine didn't show here. And also, uh, it's important for the implant alpha for beta 7. So wild type group have a high expression of alpha for beta 7 integrally in the T on the T cell, but not happen in the CCR7 deficient bone marrow transplanted mouse. So colon drive donor DC migrate to the mesentic lymph node via the CCR7 and they implant the alpha 4 beta 7 integrating on the donor T cells. So second part of the uh, talk is the G, uh, conclusion is after the GBC induced tissue damage allowed to enter the pathogen or damage associated molecule and then they stimulate the donor TC expansion and then activation in the colon. Especially the CD1 3 positive it will be negative population which is equivalent to the human CD141 high DC, but uh, this population is migrating the lymph node and then estimate the T cell expansion and those T cell implant back to the intestine and then this cycle is the feed forward cascade to make the severe ZVHD. So in conclusion, the host non hematopoietic cells are crucial for the induction of CD4 
T cell mediated CBC. The mechanism of antigen presentation utilized by the host non hematopoietic APC can be targeted for the prevention of ZVC. For that, we need to identify the cell types of the host non hematopoietic APC, and also we need to elucidate the intracellular pathways to be functional APC. Also, the enhancement. Um, Process, the chronic donor derived DC determine the severity of ZVZ. Since ZVZ target organ do not have the leukemia and the donor DC do not mediate severe effect, these strategies are targeted the host non hematopoietic APC or donor uh, chronic DC should also spare the ZVL. Biomarker based identification of the patient at the high risk for the severe ZVC may allow the preemptive treatment that they interrupt the chronic mesentic lymph node T cell cycle. The candidate would be the CCL7, R12, R6, or alpha 4 beta 7 molecules. So I'd like to say thank you for the all my Greek and then collaborators, especially then my supervisor and mentor, Jeff Hill, and also funding source of NHMRC Leukemia Foundation of Australia, the QMRC funding. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>